Disaster recovery in software applications refers to the set of processes, policies, and procedures designed to ensure the timely recovery and restoration of software systems and data following a catastrophic event or disruptive incident. It involves the implementation of strategies and measures to minimize the impact of such events on the availability and functionality of software applications. Disasters can include various scenarios like natural disasters, such as earthquakes, floods, or hurricanes, hardware failures, software glitches, cyber attacks, or human errors. Any of these events can potentially disrupt the normal operation of software applications resulting in data loss, system downtime, and loss of productivity. To mitigate the impact of disasters, organizations implement disaster recovery plans. These plans typically include Backup and restore, regularly backing up software application data and storing it in secure off-site locations. This allows for the restoration of data in the event of a disaster. Redundancy Implementing redundancy measures to ensure that critical software components and data are replicated and available in multiple locations. This can involve using redundant servers, network connections, or cloud-based infrastructure. Failover and high availability, setting up systems and infrastructure to automatically switch to alternative components or environments in case of a failure. This helps minimize downtime and maintain the availability of the software application. Disaster Recovery Testing Regularly testing the disaster recovery plan to ensure its effectiveness and identify any weaknesses or areas for improvement. This involves simulating disaster scenarios and verifying the recovery procedures. Data Recovery Point Objective RPO, and Recovery Time Objective RTO defining acceptable levels of data loss and downtime. RPO specifies the maximum tolerable amount of data loss, while RTO defines the target time within which the application should be recovered and operational. Security measures, implementing security controls to protect the software applications from cyber attacks and unauthorized access, which can cause significant disruptions. By implementing these measures, organizations can minimize the impact of disasters and ensure the continuity of their software applications, safeguarding critical data and reducing downtime, thereby maintaining business operations and minimizing financial losses.